Hey guys, this is Doug from TechHog, and today I have the Windows 8 Consumer Preview, which I'll be showing you guys. Um, I will be listing the ins and outs, um, showing you guys what to expect and what not to expect once Windows 8 is released, or once you guys receive the Consumer Preview for yourselves. Um, so stick around, I hope you enjoy. So one of the major things that is said about Windows 8 would happen to probably be the start time uh, from cold boot. Now, cold booting is when it's not in sleep mode, uh, it's completely off. Um, Windows 8 is doing a very, very good job of making this as fast as possible. So when I turn on my device for the first time, it should load within 6 to 8 seconds. There's the beta fish for um, the Windows 8. And then here's my lock screen. So Windows 8 is kind of like Windows Phone, where uh, as soon as you start up or as soon as you turn on your, your device, you're prompted with a lock screen. The lock screen slides up, and you can change the background to whatever you prefer. The lock screen includes uh, notifications at the bottom, such as uh, cell service or Wi-Fi. Battery, uh, if you have emails, messages, what have you, list the time and also the date. Um, so you swipe up and you're prompted with your login screen. So I'm going to log in with my PIN number. There we go. And it's logging me in. And here we are. This is Windows 8 revamped. Um, or should I say just Windows revamped? It's very fluid and. Um, you know, the team at Microsoft really did a good job optimizing Windows 8 for pretty much any processor, starting with Intel, but uh, ARM processors are coming soon. Uh, other than its fluidity, um, it's very coherent. I love all the live tiles. The live tiles definitely um, update telling me birthdays, uh, pictures, emails, uh, what have you. And one of the best features for people who are used to using desktops is probably desktop mode. Now this right now is exactly what you would see um, if I had a netbook. It's running what looks like Windows 7 at least, but it's the new Windows 8 desktop mode. Uh, it has recycle bin, has a bunch of um, icons, uh, has the basic icons at the bottom for um, like Word, PowerPoint, you know, Internet Explorer, Documents. The only thing it's missing is there's no Start button on the bottom. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but they eliminated the Start button in, in general because they want the Start menu to be um, this UI right here. This is going to be your new Start menu for using Windows 8. Um, you could have your applications. Um, as you can see, I have all my applications. Um, you could have pinned websites, like I pinned Facebook. Um, and what have you. Um, so first off I guess we'll go through the uh, web app. This is my personal email and um, it lists, uh, looks like Aaron wants to play a game via uh, Zynga uh, and it shows on the right hand side what the email pertains and the left hand side is my whole Google inbox. So I can go to uh, AccuWeather's email, give me the rundown of this week's weather, I can get the 15 day forecast, I could uh, add a new email, I could reply to the email, or I could just trash it, so I'm just going to trash this email, and delete, and there you go, as you can see it deleted the email, and now I have um, uh, successfully deleted my email. Uh, there's a Microsoft Office, or Microsoft Store, I guess you would call it. Um, I think they're right now they're just calling it the store. I don't think there's anything specifically named to it. Um, but it has applications that you could download that people have developed or that major companies um, have developed as well. Like there's a Kindle app. Um, Cut the Rope. A lot of people have played that. They enjoy that. Um, and also, as you can see, the store is segmented into like Spotlight. And you have Games. Uh, social, entertainment, photos, 
music, books, news, everything's all fluid and organized and very, very neat. Uh, I happen to enjoy that. You could find um, applications by um, the star value, uh, top paid, top free, new releases, or any picks that Windows or Microsoft has suggested for you. Um, the weather app is very nice. Uh, it updates live tile as well. And um, once it loads. As you see, they're all app previews. Um, app previews is because it's not the real thing. It's just what they expect the apps to look like. Um, it tells my current location for Bing weather. Uh, the current temperature, what it's like outside. And then the week to come. I can swipe to the side and get hourly forecasts, daily maps such as uh, radar, precipitation, satellite, etc. Uh, I can get uh, historical weather uh, for our month. It's just very fluid and everything's just right there. It's not over cluttered. It's exactly what you need to know when you need to know it. Uh, one of the cool uh, things about Microsoft is that they enabled everything swiping in from the side so my I could swipe in from the side and get cert, they're called charms I can get a charm ser, uh, search charm share start devices and settings um, if I swipe in from this side I can get my recent applications that I've recently opened we opened the store uh, I can go to weather I can go to my email again and I can go back to the store if I go into, say, Weather App, and I swipe up from the bottom, I get um, a list of application settings. The one problem is uh, you could swipe up from the bottom and get the list of application settings, or you could swipe in from the side and click on Settings and get the same settings in a different menu. Whether that's an uh, issue or they wanted to do that is beyond me, but it's just two different ways of getting to the settings. Um, we will actually... Actually, I'll go through the settings right now. Um, the settings lists your uh, current Wi-Fi uh, volume. You could change the volume up and down. Uh, brightness, you could adjust the brightness of the device. Uh, notifications, if I have any new notifications, I could turn them on if I want to see the notifications or turn them off if I don't want to see the notifications. Uh, here's power, I could restart, shut down, or sleep. Then I could also change my language. Or I can click more PC settings and it'll open up the global settings. In global settings, I can change my lock screen. Uh, I could choose a picture that they suggest or I could browse my um, pictures on my computer. I can change my start screen. It allows me to change the color theme, background, um, etc. And I could also change my account picture. I can use a webcam or I could browse pictures as well. Um, I can enable different users if this is a multi-user PC. Uh, choose what applications show me notifications. Uh, I could delete my search history or when I do search, choose what applications to search. Uh, sharing, uh, to uh, settings for, you know, uh, applications and such that use the sharing feature. Uh, general is like time, app switching, uh, touch keyboard, I could change if it plays sounds, uppercase letters, etc. Autocorrect spelling, language. And this is where I could refresh my PC without uh, affecting my files. Um, which what it does is it it's basically reboots your PC without losing anything. Uh, reset my PC and start over will basically wipe the whole thing and start from scratch. And then I could do advanced setups as well. Uh, there's privacy settings, different devices I could add. Uh, wireless, ease of access, etc., etc. Um, we can go into the internet browser, and you can see what the new internet browser looks like. Um, this is TechHogs. This is our website. The address bar is at the bottom, uh, which is different, but to be honest with you, it's actually not that bad. It took a little bit to get used to. Um, the keyboard shows up. It's very minimalistic, but also very functional. Um, this shows frequent websites that I visited. 
um, and I can uh, say click on one of the websites I visited, and it'll open it. If I swipe from the top, it'll give me a list of all websites that I uh, have open, all tabs. Then I could actually add a new tab by clicking the plus plus button. Uh, again, it opens my frequent websites, so I'm going to go to TechHog. Uh, it's very fluid, the web browsing experience. Uh, with little to no delay, actually. Uh, loading all the pictures, fine. And um, and just optimize for touchscreen. Um, which you'll see the difference when we go into desktop mode. In desktop mode, we can go to Internet. And I'm going to click on the address bar. Open. And go to... Uh, tech hog now I could swipe up and down which is fine but since it's optima uh, optimal to use a mouse and keyboard there's also the uh, scroll on the side which you could um, click and use or you could just swipe if you're just using your thumbs but Everything looks practically the same as the old Internet Explorer that you're used to using on your Windows 7 PC. Uh, games run fine. Everything runs smooth. Um, have no complaints so far. Uh, if you want to edit your um, live tiles on the home screen, you just click on the live tile you want to edit and drag down. And then I can either unpin it or make it smaller. And that just shrinks the size, or I could make it larger. If, say, this is not the way you want to set it up, and you want to bring this tile somewhere else, I could drag it down, and I could either make it smaller or keep it the same. But what I do is I hold it and just drag it wherever I want. So say I want it there. It's easier to access my people from up top. Um, the last thing I'll show you guys is the people app, actually. Uh, the People app is very nice, but it still has is a work in progress. So there's all my contacts, all too many of them. And I could swipe through every single one of my contacts, and I could actually um, click on one and find out all the information. Let's see. Um, I don't have a, a test one I could do. Um, so let's see, if I click on Alex, it'll load up his contact information, and I could get um, all his contact information loaded. I can go to What's New, and um, What's New will actually link with my, at the bottom, it even shows Facebook, Google, and uh, it should show Twitter too, but I think I have too many accounts linked up that doesn't show them all. Um, and what it does actually loads everything right in front of me so I could swipe and see what people have uploaded. Um, the problem is, so far with this app, it doesn't upload things as frequently as possible. Uh, like some of these things were said yesterday, but it still says three minutes ago. I don't understand. And then I can go into me. It'll show me what's new with me. Um... I need to go to the driving range soon. That's what's new. Um, notifications, any photos I uploaded recently. Uh, and I can click on all my info as well. So alright guys, that's been a quick, or not so quick, walkthrough of Windows 8 Consumer Preview. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, also, follow us on Twitter, at the Tech Hog, and uh, check out our website. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.